Okay, this video is for altruistic, altruistic law 366, who's got a question about finishing programs and um, was talking about co the COVA program. Um, and your comment is that it, it's not really, it's not really a finish, finishing program. The COVA, COVA training, as I understand, it, is a is a ball skills mastery. Um, so I'm gonna answer this, I'm gonna take two step backwards and then answer this how I personally would train to become a better goal scorer, finisher. And it may seem a little um, too roundabout, too indirect, but if you're a serious soccer player and you plan on pursuing soccer for a lifetime, this is an O2 trainer and this thing is gonna change the way you breathe, it's gonna strengthen your um, it's gonna strengthen your breathing muscles. You have breathing muscles. And the other thing this does, this, uh, this, these videos from the O2 trainer taught me is, is how to belly breathe. And why this is important in finishing is that whenever you're training, if you get the most out of your recovery, get the most out of your training, if you breathe properly, this is gonna completely change the quality of your training for the rest of your life, as well as the quality of life. It's gonna improve the quality of your life, and you'll see what I mean in a second. So if you have the ability to go like this, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> belly breathing, <coughs> if you learn the, the skill of belly breathing, what this does is it massages your inter internal organs and improves, you take most, it, it'll improve your endurance, you take most people to take a deep breath, what they'll do is they'll go, they'll breathe in through, your, through their upper back and chest. You wanna start breathing through your belly. It, lo it loses, it uses less energy to breathe this way. All animals in the animal kingdom, they're belly breathers, babies are belly breathers at, at their birth. So that's just one way that if you go back, take two steps back, and it'll teach yourself how to breathe properly. I know it doesn't seem like it's gonna help you breathe or train to be a better, better goal scorer, but it will, I promise you. So that's an O2 trainer, O2 trainer, 50 bucks. I do this every day for at least three minutes. That's what's recommended. I can't stress this enough how much this has changed my life and how I think that even though that it doesn't seem directly like it'll improve your training, it will, so buy it. The second thing that I would start incorporating if I want to be a better striker, and I've right, so the O2 trainers two step backwards, this is a one step backwards. This is a rope. It's a simple rope, right? Two simple knots up top. And this is gonna, this is called a, um, what I, I suggest is gonna to be to learn the alternating underhand sneak. It's a rope flow pattern. This is gonna completely transform the way you move in the field and, and, and your quality of movement movement efficiency right so it looks like this it's wings wide pick a side come over second part is wings wide pick a side come back over right so it's wings wide pick a side 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 this is the alternating underhand sneak and if you can't do that in the beginning you could do twos right so pop 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 and what what's hap what happens is you're gonna you're gonna every after two swings or you go one swing you pop that opposing knee up and what this is gonna do is gonna transfer to the game tremendously tremendously because this acts as a as a as a rhythm keeper right pop 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 the whole game of soccer is just rhythm right timing right there's a rhythm to the game there's a rhythm to life so if you start mastering this and, and mastering that ability to pop that knee up. Get your breathing down, right? T -t Talking about uh, that nice belly breathing. Now we're being aware. This is a warm up that no one's doing as a soccer player, that they soccer players would benefit tenfold from this, from this, uh, from this warm up. So that's the second thing. You could make your own rope or you just order one on Amazon. It's called, if you search RMT rope, you can find a whole bunch. Um,
David Weck, if you search David Weck, he speaks a lot about um, RMT ropes and training and whatnot. Okay, so now we're gonna get into the soccer, the main soccer bit. So now we're at zero. The first thing I would do, what's part of the rotation? Um, juggling practice, I would get a 2.2 pound, a 2.2 pound ball. This is a heavy ball. This is by Champion Barbell. This is a reactor style ball, whatever that means. So if you take a heavy ball and you have a tennis ball, right? So a light ball, a heavy ball, and you work on your juggling for even in the beginning start. If you're not already doing this, five minutes a day, two minutes a day, make an easy goal for yourself, build the habit. So you could say, after I wake up, I'll spend two minutes a day juggling and two could turn into five and five could turn into 15, right? Or you could say, whenever I go to practice go five minutes, 10 minutes early and spend some time juggling. If you rotate between juggling, get developing a nice rhythm with a heavy ball, And then once you drop that, you go, you get the, t the tennis ball, right? Do some juggles. Then you, let's say you drop that. And then you could use, get into the rotation, right? This ball on a rope, sit. This ball on a rope. This is a skills kick trainer. Again, 20 bucks, not that price for Amazon or you make it yourself. So first you've done the, a few, a few juggles, developing the rhythm on the heavy ball. Then it's the tennis ball. Then you could do some of these, right again, developing a nice rhythm, breathing. So what we're doing with the rope flow, even with the breathing and the heavy ball and the tennis ball, developing nice rhythms, being very relaxed, right? The way you train is the way you play. If you can't be relaxed juggling uh, by yourself, when you're gonna come into a high pressure situation, uh, right you, you want to be able to be relaxed when you're training so that when you do come in high pressure situations you can make good quality decisions and just keep the ball basically it's it's uh right it's just being comfortable keeping the ball so that's a, this those are three different things the three different uh a rotation of uh things that you should develop a rhythm right develop the rhythm with the heavy ball with a skills kick trainer and a light ball. And when you get on a real soccer ball, your game is just gonna go uh, through the roof, as I like to say. Um, now I wanna talk about the Cobra, the Cobra training. What, what ball mastery does, the way it helps you is that, um, if you wanna score more goals, it's not just about shooting. You gotta get yourself in a place to where you can shoot, right? So by mastering dribbling, you're gonna set yourself up. Dribbling is a foundation for goal scoring because, right, if you can't keep the ball, if you can't advance the way down the field, or if you can't connect passes, and a lot of that stems from having ball mastery. Like if you're uncomfortable with the ball at the feet, you can't, you can't create, you can't give the one two to even get in the scoring position. So you need to master ball master. You need to master the fundamentals so I'm gonna teach you something real quick now that's gonna help your dribbling practice. And you could add this to the things that you start to do every day and that's gonna grow your game, grow your life, right? So this dribbling sequence, it goes outside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, outside, inside, outside, inside. When you master that sequence, that's gonna, it's the Rosetta Stone of dribbling. What does that mean? That means that once you master this, combine it with all your other moves or any of your favorite moves it gives you a foundation for dribbling so you go outside outside inside outside chop or outside outside inside outside scissor outside outside inside outside step over outside outside, outside inside outside L move right so so right this is a simple sequence you master it and it'll improve your shooting tremendously and it pairs with all the other covert, covert activities. So try that. Outside, outside, inside, outside, inside. Make sure you do it slow in the beginning, get into a nice rhythm, and say, say the words out loud when you're doing it. 
right? Outside, outside, inside, outside, inside. Outside, outside, inside, outside, inside. So that's a, that's a dribbling sequence that you could add to when you're doing juggling, right? So you go juggle, juggle, drop the heavy ball. Then you pick up the tennis ball, juggle, juggle. When you drop that ball, it's ball, it's kick trainer, right? Ball on the rope. When you get tired of that, go to the dribbling sequence, right? This, this is a rotation of exercises that you can get into a state of meditation, getting super relaxed, lots of touches, just being present, being aware, looking at your surroundings and developing the skill of getting your head up, being relaxed, getting touches on the ball. Um, the fourth, okay, so now we have, we have the juggling, ball of rope, we got rope flow, we got the breath trainer, we got sequences. The next thing, this is, um, this is key. If you uh, add this to your, your training regimen, uh, and okay, so what I have is two barrels. You could use garbage cans, you could use a hamper, you could use anything you like. This is the barrel game. And as a beginner, the goal is to get the, juggle the ball into the barrel, right? And if you're just starting out, you could use a bounce. So you go like this, you go bounce, kick, bounce, kick, bounce, kick, right? Just like that. And when you start to advance, right, you go no bounce, right? So, there you go, left foot. Sorry, dogs on the road. Um, so it's right foot, left foot, both feet alternating, then it's right thigh. Let's try that again, right thigh. Then it's left thigh. Then you do both thighs alternating. And then the last drill is everything, you, anything you want. Um, and that's a barrel game, right? My barrels are close, I'm making it fun, I'm making it challenging. The better you get, you could start using tennis ball, heavy ball. You could put weights in your hands, you can make the barrels more far apart right there's a lot of ways infinite ways that you could make it 
um, this game more challenging for yourself. And the last and final thing is spend more time doing 1v1 work, right? Because by, uh, even if you have two cones, let's say you go to practice a little early, you warm up with a friend, or at the end of practice, if you got more juice in the tank, you and your friend, you'll, you'll set up a cone a couple yards apart from each other, and you take a small, you take a skills ball, like a size one or two ball, and try to knock, knock your opponent's ball down. Um, this way, you'll become super comfortable with uh, 1v1 play, and that'll directly translate to when you get in the game, you know, practice beating someone and, and finishing on goal. If you want to score more, more goals, this will help tremendously. So you got a whole bunch of things that you could do by yourself that don't require anyone to be around for you to improve. I would get started on those immediately. The skills kick trainer, you get thousands of repetitions striking a ball. This one's clutch, but like I said before, there's, I've shown you a lot of ways that you can um, attack, attack scoring more goals. And this is not a true pr finishing program, but I promise you, you, tr you spend some time developing a, a, a foundation of breath work, doing rope flow, rope flow, right? Humans are hum humans are humans first, soccer player second. So the, the rope flow is gonna is gonna improve your your pure 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 raw athleticism and um, just improve your ability to move um, and then right this the pure soccer skills and drills that'll really imp help you improve so I guess you could call this this is a this is Andrew's soccer system so give this give this a try for finishing if you've got any, any questions feel free to reach out and um, I hope you enjoy all right